Welcome back everyone. You might be in a position where you just updated to iOS 14 and you want a little introduction to the app library. Now what this is, is basically if you swipe all the way to the right of your device, you'll see this new little layout. Now this looks very similar to Android, what Android has had. And I really do like it that Apple introduced it here into iOS 14. Now what this does is basically it breaks down all of the apps that you have on your phone. So all the apps that you have here, it basically breaks it down into categories for you to kind of easily understand it. So instead of you searching for an app throughout here, you can just scroll over here and just see them. Now there are a ton of categories. You have the suggested apps which are here, which are usually ones that you just used or ones that you use all the time. You have recently added apps, which is really cool. And then you have a lot of other categories usually down here that could be everywhere. So even AppCake has its own little category here for enterprise apps. Now, you can't really modify these specific folders. You can still delete apps and all that stuff. But if you want, you can always click on a folder just like this and have access to all these apps that you have here. You can do the exact same thing for every single one. Now for social, for example, as you can see, you have all the apps here, you can go and click on it and it'll show you exactly all the apps that you have in these specific categories. Now let's say you're in a position where for some reason you don't really want to go ahead and use the app library every time, but you want to search for an app, but maybe you don't know which category it's in. What you can do in this case, you can go ahead and just swipe down on the app library and come into this page. Now what this does is that it sorts all your apps in alphabetical order so it doesn't really show you you know apps that are biggest in size or whatever so you can't sort them any other way but they are in alphabetical order which is really cool so in this case let's say i wanted to go search for like snapchat for example i can go and scroll down and find snapchat this way or i can always search for it by clicking up here and just typing in snapchat or i can go ahead and drag down the right side of it until I get into S or get around it and I can go ahead and find Snapchat that way. And you just basically rinse and repeat it for every single app that you want. So that's pretty much a breakdown of this specific thing. Now, whenever you go ahead and download an app, you can go ahead and set it off to, you know, if you don't want it to go ahead and go on the home screen, you just wanna go ahead and download on the main screen, you can go ahead and have that set up. And in order to do that, what you wanna do is you wanna make your way over to the settings app. You'll come into the main page, not screen time. You want to scroll down until you get into home screen, which is a new addition, which is right here. So you can go and click on it. You'll see these specific options. Now the top option is the one you want to go ahead and look at. As you can see, I still have it to set up add to home screen. But if you click add to app library only, it will only add it to the app library and not necessarily the home screen, which is a really cool thing. So I'm sure a lot of you guys might be interested in that. So that's exactly how you do that. Now let's say you want to hide an app and you don't want it to be on the home screen. Well, in this case, what you do is you want to go ahead and hold it down. So for this case, I'll just use GBA for iOS. You want to click edit home screen, which is right here. Now all the apps will get into the little wiggle mode thing. What you want to do here is click the minus button. So for whatever app, I'll go and click this one. Now, as you can see, you have a couple of different options. Now you have delete app, move to app library and cancel. Well, let's go ahead and click move to app library and that app will not show up on the home screen anymore. It'll basically show up on the app library. So if you scroll all the way to the right, you will still be able to find this app here. So what was it, GBA for iOS? So as you can see, I still have the app here. Now, if I click on it, it's not going to open because it's revoked, but that is exactly how you go ahead and hide apps on iOS 14 as well. So that is basically a little introduction and a little bit how to of the app library. If you guys have any questions or into any other problems within iOS 14, let me know in the comment section below and I might make a video about it. If you guys have any other questions, leave it down in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.